is the first way to manage crisis in marriage. And the first one I have written down here is talk. Talk. Dialogue. Negotiation. Say how you feel. Do not make it nice. Do not overlook it. Do not postpone it when you feel bad. Say it now. Because when you postpone it, that small talk you didn't talk about becomes a big talk. It will turn to cancer. So when you are not happy, say, I am not happy. And you'll be asked why. Because when this talk you're not talking about grows so much in your heart, your heart becomes hardened. That is what Moses is talking about here. Because he's saying here, because of the hardness of your heart, inasmuch as said, except for moral, sexual immorality, but today divorces are happening even where there are no sexual immorality. Many people that are divorced do not know why they are divorced. They know that it's irreconcilable differences. But it's not necessarily, I caught him, I'm not sure, but I suspect. You caught her, but that's how she's behaving these days, I'm suspecting. Nobody caught anybody sexually uh, misbehaving. It just, that plant, that seed, that devil plants of this God that grew into selfishness or into competition, its word begins to also grow into suspicion. And then when there is competition, you begin to have ideas in your heart. And most times, those ideas, you don't know how to say it out. So you keep them somewhere in your stomach, and then they begin to grow more. You wait for the right time to talk about it. Until something now happens that is bigger than that, and then you blow up. And so when you blow up, it's difficult for you to retrace your step or withdraw your statements or your comments. And then the other party becomes deeply offended or deeply hurt. Praise God. And then you don't know how to retrace from it. Do not be that man or that woman when, if your husband eventually notices that you're not happy, because you see a lot of women sad and moody, and they will not say, I'm not happy with my husband. They're just sad and moody. And when you ask them, Ah, oh, honey, are you okay? You say yes. What happened? Nothing. How are you? Fine. When you begin to have those kind of monotone um, answers, it means there is a lot to talk about. And you don't expect the man to become a soothsayer. You don't expect the woman to become a diviner, to know what's in your mind, how you feel. Because you find that maybe after three weeks or after three months, you find that, why, why did you change? Why are you angry? You say, I was suspecting her the way she behaves. What's was suspecting? The other day I was coming to the gate. I saw her smiling to my neighbor. The way she was smiling to my neighbor, she had not spent to me like that for, in this last one year. I'm suspecting something is going on. So did you ask? No. How is she supposed to know you're not happy about it? You don't know. So most times, what causes breakdown in marriages is not being able to talk. When talking becomes very free, when you are free to talk, you can now discuss things that hurt you, things that makes you happy, things that get you excited. It's easier for you to catch offenses before they become blown up. But most times, people do not involve in talking. They keep murmuring and not speaking out until it becomes so huge and they begin to count for you the offenses. And you're wondering, I didn't know I did this, I didn't know I did that, I didn't know. So whenever you feel any how, any form of offense coming from your partner, be it male or female, the best thing to do is to talk. 